everything that has breath. lifeblood of abiding presence have been doing some amazing things in praise and service to the Lord, including growing our ministries by adding Pastor Emily to our staff, paying down our mortgage debt, which allows us to invest more in other ministries, and supporting the greater church through the benevolence to the Synod. In addition to those financial aspects of praise, many of you have invested countless hours providing your time and talents in service to our mission, God's mission. My talk today is related to the caring for each other aspect of stewardship using our time and talents. Let me just name a few of the ways that you have praised the Lord and cared for each other through your actions. Worship leadership, including assistant minister, acolyte, crucifer, communion assistants, ushers, altar guild, and many more. Music and worship, including our chancel choir, praise band and vocals, and instrumental music. The audiovisual team, which supports both our sanctuary experience and streamer, streaming our service. The men's mission group, which provides service both within the church such as setting up for events and maintaining our facilities and outreach outside of APLC to Camp Agape, Habitat for Humanity, and other local needs. Our inreach and fellowship committee, organizing, serving, and cleaning up after our congregational functions. And numerous individual efforts that range from mowing the lawn weekly, fixing leaky water pipes, spraying weeds, getting better interest on our, more, on our um, money, finding a better insurance company, painting classrooms, delivering monthly food collections to the food bank. The list goes on and on. And I've only named a few of the many ways our church family members serve and we all benefit. I believe each of us has a responsibility to participate in the activities of our church family, both financially and with our time and talents, to the extent that we are able. As I described, many are already active, with a degree of commitment ranging from an hour or two a year to busy and contributing several hours every week. Some of us are already committed to the extent we are able which is wonderful, others have the means to increase commitment. We have some ministries that are especially short on volunteers. This results in a few people participating frequently, sometimes only having one Sunday a month to worship without other commitments. Those that are, those that are in those roles are more than happy to train new volunteers and will help until those people are comfortable. Some of the places we have significant needs include committee leadership, helping to organize the efforts of others, having two or more co-leaders to share the organizational, organizational efforts would be much appreciated. Helping with the audiovisual team, page turners for the slides, controlling the sound and controlling the camera, assistant ministers, recognizing that the prayers, which are the most intimidating to me, are already prepared for you. Gluten-free communion assistance, counters, chancel choir and praise van, and ushers. Think about those times when you see the same small group of people doing the same thing weekly. You will have the opportunity to volunteer your time and talents in the week to come. In summary, 
please increase your involvement in service roles to the extent you are able, which helps share the responsibility among our church family as we care for each other. Thank you.